I am back with another video uh, which is mainly focused on credit management and also it will have a flavor of how credit management can be done with SAP Central Finance. However, before I go to Central Finance and credit management relationship, I'll just walk you through uh, the brief about what is credit management. So credit management is a, is a separate module. It has been in existence uh, in from ECC ages as well. However, things have changed now and I will explain you what. Uh, it's part of FSCM, which is Financial Supply Chain Management, a broader module. Uh, currently, credit management is a part of standard S4 HANA license. You don't need to buy any additional license for using credit management if you have S4 HANA bundle. And uh, credit management now uses uh, business partner concept. So those are the key highlights. Uh, now I'll get into detail what business benefits uh, does credit management provide. And also after that, I will explain you the features of credit management. So business benefits are very, uh, very important from any investment perspective and credit management provides a higher degree of automation, uh, which uh, it helps in calculating credit score, risk class and credit limits. So what, what we do is when we sell to the customer, we create a sales order and uh, it is important that we identify when we are selling the customer to the customer on credit, what is the credit worthiness of that customer? Whether are we going to receive the money? Is there is a risk involved? Uh, what is the past track of the customer? How is the relationship of that customer with, the, with its uh, vendors and customers in the market? All those things are important because then when we are going to make a sale of let's say million dollar, uh, we need to understand with what is the risk we are taking uh, by giving the credit to the customer. So that's where credit events helps the credit analyst to focus on exceptions, create a relationship, process of credit limit request. If a customer is having 100,000 credit limit and we want to process 120,000, then system will block. However, can we extend that? Documented credit decisions and higher or lower account relationship of business partners. Uh, I will go to the key features now, which will explain things more uh, in terms of details of this particular module. Uh, credit limit management, uh, as I said, uh, implement a company-wide credit policy. So it helps in implementing a credit policy uh, across company. You can have a central credit limit. Uh, for example, if you are selling in Asia and if the same customer you are selling in, in Africa, you can have a centralized credit management. Manage a customer credit profile. You have a profile of the customer. You can see what are the defaults she has, she or the, or the customer has done in the past. What is the credit history? Uh, how much customer credit worthiness is, uh, and what risk you are taking. And central credit management in a distributed system landscape. This part I will explain when I touch the central finance area. Next is credit case. Credit case for a structured processing of credit limit applications. Of course, as I just gave an example, uh, the limit is $100,000. However, the, the requirement is $120,000 uh, to extend a credit limit by, let's say, 20%. But what is the case? Why should we extend that 20% limit to a certain customer? Uh, do we have a structured process for that? Uh, and track status and result of the credit limit applications. And then, of course, if customer is asking for the enhanced credit limit, there would be a process uh, involved, plus the tracking at what point, who will approve, uh, when the approval happens, how much is approved, is it 120 or is it 110? That process is, is part of the credit case. Then we have credit rules engine. We can categorize customer by scoring rule. We can say high risk customer, low risk customer, and um, you can say no risk customer. So for no risk, you can say we have a good business relationship. We are doing the business and we have a, a to and fro a millions of uh, amount going on. We can say no risk. So we can categorize by giving them the scores. Let's say 10 out of uh, out of 10. You can say if customer score is 2, we will not, uh, not extend the limit. But if the customer score is 9.5, we can extend. Automatically calculate and assign a customer specific credit limit based on this uh, score. And when you have implemented central credit policy you can uh, automatically assign Calc system will calculate the limit you don't need to calculate it and it will assign to the customer credit checks and then of course model and implement own customer credit scorecard in addition to that you have interface to external credit agencies this is a very important feature uh, you are just looking at what you are doing with that particular customer how relationship you are managing 
it might be possible that that customer is trying to build a relationship which at the end may be a problem uh, uh, with a smaller amount they have good uh, good deals but now with a larger amount you might be an issue so with this external credit agencies they maintain the profile of all the customers centrally with relationship with their relationship how they are managing with several customers and vendors so you you can get data and you can get interface to that particular credit agencies there are several agencies in the market input parameters for scoring rules and of course credit manager role based access to credit management information and analysis so here analysis is very important but for analysis you need that information in hand to process how customer credit is working so these are the key features of credit management uh, in previous version uh, it was always fi ar credit management as i just said it has been existing from ecc ages however now it's a full fledged uh, sap sap credit management uh, so you can see a difference in master data it was fi ar account now it is sap business partner i'll not uh, go through each point but yeah these are the high level differences uh credit exposure for only simple one landscape but now you have distributed landscape including sap and non sap credit rules engine were not available but now they are available previously it was all customer fact sheet and analysis was based on all the customer facts you have but now it is real time fury based uh, smart uh, analysis and also uh you have now uh, previously it was credit information was only through partner product but now xml based credit information can be shared with external credit agencies and you can interact with them in real time uh, for particular customers um, and see how they are uh, do doing in the market so that 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 and explains how much uh, benefit now uh, with this change has come and why sap expanded the scope of credit management not just checking in one system a credit for particular customer rather than you know expanding it to the horizons to more features including external agencies multiple systems and uh, and several other areas how we convert from old to new this is another question from migration perspective if you are in converting from ecc to s4 uh, then this is a very important uh, there are few steps uh, i you can pause the video here and you can read those uh, which will explain you who needs to do what there are some options which are there is some relevance criteria relevancy rule then you have a nature is it mandatory optional what needs to be done and who will do that so this is important to understand uh, when you are migrating who is doing what like some of the steps are basis team some are technical team some are functional some are mandatory and some are optional so these are pure technical steps important to know uh but yeah you can go ahead and read uh, read these areas now comes central central finance flavor so as uh, i just explained fiar then previous one it was always one system but now you can put it across distributed landscape so what central finance is doing um, you have your all ecc systems or non sap system and on top of that you put one cfin system now if you are doing your credit management in cfin system as you can see on the screen uh on the right hand side you have central finance and you are doing a credit management here then you can do the credit management for all the customers who are sitting in local ecc system so you might have five systems let's say and previously you were doing five different ways but now you can just follow one ways of working uh and of course uh, it is important that central payment is activated which you must be doing because if you are using credit management it is an assumption that you must be doing central payment So now on the source side you have a sales and distribution module uh, you have uh, e which is being used in ecc as is and you have a cleared open items being created there coming to ec s4 uh, via slt now the moment sd module triggers uh, it you create a sales order it checks credit limit directly immediately into s4 hana system it checks through rfc connections if it exists it gives a call back and then you can create sales save the sales order in ecc system however if there is no limit it gives you a call back saying guys uh, this customer does not have a limit it block the sales order on the target side you have all your calculations all your credit exposure uh, and all your uh, when open items are being processed you are also updating the credit limit for example uh, now the payment run is happening you are receiving the payment or you are making the payment all that information is impacting the credit limits so at the end the summary is is here like uh you have multiple systems previously you were managing credit limit in different systems but now you can centralize your credit management and i would give a term central credit management 
uh, where you maintain your all your credit management related data in one system you reduce your overheads you reduce your uh, your cost in terms of managing several systems but your your operations are still going in one system uh, in different systems on ecc side however each sales order is being checked in s4 side so that's a credit management design and of course you have to uh, you have interfaces in between uh, like you see here uh, once uh, if there is a uh, if the if the sales order get blocked once the payment run happens it it uh, it send the back the rfc which says the release sales order so that to and fro process is happening but it is important in this perspective that from infra perspective that both the your cfin system is in rfc connections are up and running all the time so that because it may impact a business continuity if they, if they have a trouble on the target side because now you have shifted the process of credit check from ecc to s4 that's a design uh, of course there are a lot of configuration setting behind this which we can talk about in in the different video and this is how the end to end process is uh, so the sender system is ecc and the receiver system in the top there is central finance you create a sales order it checks credit limit immediately step number 2 then it gives a raise a warning or a block the delivery then you make a credit decision in central finance then it send backs if you change the credit limit it is okay if you not you have a credit management you release delivery and then goods are issued in the from the tar from ecc system and then customer invoice is created in ecc system then accounting document flow back to s4 system so that's an end to end uh, process where you are utilizing ecc system as well as s4 hana central finance system and this sender system can be one or sender system can be multiple of course when you are doing s4 uh, central finance i assume it will be always more than two uh, so this is how the design is end to end and that's how central finance credit management process works i will explain more details about credit management in subsequent videos but for now i think this is good and uh, thank you so much for listening the video uh, if you browse the channel you will see lot of content about uh, cfin you you have configurations you have central payment you have mappings you have uh, whatever snt filters uh, you have uh, theoretical aspects you have configurational aspects uh, you have lot of things available on the channel so do like share the, and subscribe the channel any questions you you feel feel free to put it on the on the chat window of uh, on the sorry on the youtube comment section i will be happy to answer that thank you so much for now and i will come back soon with another video thank you